Hello, I'm Angela Martin and welcome to another episode of Digicast. We are now within our third episode of the new features of El Capitan. Now on the previous episode, we've looked at some of the new navigational features within El Capitan. And these navigational features consisted of more improved methods to use as well as to access mission control, how to switch to split view, as well as quicker access with the use of multi-touch gestures. Now in this episode, we'll look into the new features of the Safari browser of El Capitan. So let's see what's new within the Safari browser. Now when we start up the Safari browser, we will notice very little change to the interface of this version. The only improvement we'll notice is that the Add New Tab button is now built into the toolbar of Safari. The other change is that we now have the ability to even remove websites from our reading list by swiping two fingers from right to left within that website which will reveal the remove button. Now one of the major new features of our Safari browser is the ability to pin sites onto the tab bar. Now by default, the tab bar is hidden. Now to unhide the tab bar, we will go to the view menu item and show the tab bar. Now that we have our tab bar available, we can click and hold on the tab, which is the site we're currently looking at and drag it to the left hand side of that tab bar which will then pin that site as indicated by the site icon on the tab bar. We can do this to a number of websites by just adding another tab by clicking on the create tab button and this time around I'll go into the YouTube training page and we can now pin the site by not dragging it this time, but going to the window menu item and click on pin tab, which will then pin our YouTube site. I can also pin a website if I should now go to the Apple website. I can now pin this site by doing a secondary click, right click on the mouse, two fingers click on a trackpad or hold down control and click and click on pin tab and this will also pin that particular website. So I've got these three websites pinned and the benefit of having these websites pinned is that if I decide to quit my Safari browser and I reopen my Safari browser, it will still have those pinned sites on my tab bar. Now for me to unpin these websites, I can click on the pin and I can then go to my window menu item, unpin the tab, which will then make it into a standard tab. I can do the same with my YouTube by just doing a secondary click on that particular pin and I can unpin that tab. And my last pin, I can then click hold and drag it out, which will then make it also into a standard tab. So that is how I can pin my sites, which is another means of maintaining my favorites now available on the tab bar. Another cool feature of the Safari browser is that it has the ability to mute sound within a specific website or even all websites that are opened within the Safari browser. Now, if we go to our DigiCape training page, which is in YouTube, and I should click on any of these movies, it will start playing. And when it starts playing, it will immediately show a little speaker icon in the top left hand corner of my URL. Now this gives me the ability to mute or to unmute it. Now if I click on that speaker icon, it will not play any sound from that video. So this makes it ideal to filter out the sound of a specific website. But what happens if I have multiple web pages playing at the same time? What I can do is I can click and hold on that icon, which will then show me all the websites that are currently playing. For example, if I now go into another web page, also into my DigiCap training page, and I play another movie. So now I can click and hold on that icon 
and now I can choose to either unmute the other tab or I can mute this one too, which will then mute both. So if I just click on it, it will just unmute that tab or if I can click and hold, I can unmute the other tab as well. So now we can see that it makes it much easier to navigate the mute button within one site or even multiple sites. One of the other new features within my Safari browser is the ability to play a specific movie from a web page directly onto my Apple TV as the AirPlay icon is now available within movies within a website. So now I don't need to go to my AirPlay within my computer. I can go directly to the website and click on my AirPlay icon which will only show the movie playing and not show the entire screen within my AirPlay. So that is the new features within my Safari browser. And that wraps up this episode of the new features of El Capitan. Our next episode will be looking at the new features of mail within El Capitan. So thank you for watching this episode of Digicast with me, Angela Martin. Hope you have a fantastic day and goodbye.